Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today would be a very unusual video. Uh, what I will be doing, I've got uh, quartz crystals, which can give Sony DeX uh, double speed, All right? So what I will be doing, I didn't clean up rollers yet, nothing like it as this. So I'm using wow and flutter tape. And here is the speed 2991. Oh wow, you see it's probably dirty pinch rollers. It, it was just below 0.02%. Now it's a little bit higher. This deck has a very good specs. All right, so what I will be doing, I will be replacing the quartz crystal uh, to make this deck a double speed and test how it can perform on the double speed. All right, and I'm very interested in type one tapes because uh, I believe with double the speed, type one tape may become better than type four tape on this deck. Uh, from recording on the normal speed, all right. So now, so let me set the level. Let me set 400 gears. Levels on the deck. Done. One channel. So here a little bit. All right, done. All right, now we will be recording tape. And it's tape mode. And let's see, frequency, response, white noise. Add zero decibel. I can extend to 40 kilogertz. And as you may see, it's uh, no change at 8 kilohertz, minus 1 decibel at 10 kilohertz, uh, minus 10 decibel, it's about left channel 16 kilohertz, right channel 18 kilohertz, All right? Type 1 tape, and it's no calibration. Now, let's see calibration. Yeah, rec level a little bit elevated. Bias technically fine. All right. Yeah, as you may see, it looks nice. All right, now let me open deck, replace the coarse crystal, and then let's check parameters right after that. See you in a moment. Hello, everyone. And that's the board we are interested in. Uh, it sits on the very back of the tape transport. Uh, so I even, like, didn't pull it completely, to, didn't disconnect all wires to remove it. So now what I will do, I will replace this uh, coarse crystal with a double speed coarse crystal. And let's see how it will perform right after that. See you in a moment. Okay, everyone. Uh, step one was successful, so I have replaced the quartz, and as you may see, stands now rotating with the double speed. So now let me close the cover so I can put computer on top, and we can start measuring results, what we will achieve. See you in a moment. Okay, everyone, our speed is increased, as you may see, but it's not doubled as I, I hoped. My quartz was pretty close, like uh, to double speed, but as you may see, it's five, three, six, four. One flutter still keeps pretty low. That's a good sign. All right, now let me install the normal tape and let's see what we can achieve with it now.
So let's see levels. Oops. For some reason, one channel only. Maybe of course, maybe I, I disturbed the wires. Let me check. It was my fault. I improperly connected the wires, so it has two sets of inputs. So CD direct and line. So I just put in between. <laughs> so that was recording one channel. Now source tape. Yeah, it's a little bit shows bigger disbalance, but all in all, we're recording. Now let's go to the white noise. Oh, wow. <laughs> Take a look at that. Oh, wow. Let me add bias. So that's the maximum I can get from the front panel and still plus eight decibel. <laughs> oh, wow. As you may see, it's slightly low. It don't change that much. All right, let me tune it and let's see how it will perform. So far, minus 10 decibel. Oh, it's even higher, minus 20. Yeah, like we have 10 decibel rise with the fully right position of bias. Let me remove HX Pro and no, I'll change it all. So in the middle position, we gain like plus 15 decibel. And on zero level, we gained, yeah, approximately the same, you see. All right, let me adjust bias internally and let's see what results we can get out of it. See you in a moment. All right, all right, so I tried to tune all three tape types uh, and uh, the best results I achieved only with chrome tape and it's still like plus two decibel at 10 kilohertz versus it should be and it's getting at least like in the reasonable brightness comparing to the source. Uh, type one and type two and as you may see, uh, we still will have a slope here because like, uh, if we will compensate to have it linear here, right? I'm just using front panel. We can do it, but uh, at minus 20, it will like give us plus five decibel, I believe. And it will be too bright, okay? I tried multiple multiple ways, nothing like, is enough to adjust, even considering that this deck has a 200 kilohertz bias, which on double spilt will, will give us like 100 kilohertz, still plenty of bias frequency. But uh, compensation circuitry on the playback amplifier needs to be adjusted, it's too bright, uh, because like uh, this speed tape performs like way better than on the normal speed. So like if I would like to keep this uh, double speed, I would need to adjust like uh, playback amplifier and then see how to adjust like record amplifier. Because right now it's, it's, it's performs like it's produced way, way, way more high frequencies. All right. And I tried with type one and type two tapes or type four and type two, uh, type, type one, sorry. And uh, type four, I was like, I can compensate, like it became like not even, uh, let me show you technically. The curve became like non-linear, all right? And whenever I do the frequency response, <laughs> it's crazy like that. So that's the maximum bias I can apply and it's still like plus five decibel, all right? And I tried multiple, you see, that's under bias and like so on. All right, at zero decibel, it's, it's still like too bright. So technically speaking, if you want to make a double speed, we need to adjust our circuits 
to compensate for better brightness of the playback head and then like probably a bias we will get in place because right now it's it's too bright all right i will think more about it so far i tried record songs and like on type 2 tapes it's it's records perfectly well this 2 decibel it's almost like uh, yeah it, it's a little bit brighter but it's not as bad as on other <laughs> tape types right when you have plus 5 or more decibels um that would be it for this video i hope you had some fun together with me so I will install back the original quartz crystal and we'll tune everything back. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not a big deal. But um, it was interesting to experiment. The sound is much more detailed, I believe, on double speed. <coughs> We're getting close to L cassette level. The only thing like uh, we need to properly compensate was this double speed to make it work like that. I will think more if I will like, uh, decide to upgrade the kites. I still like, can like uh, replace um, resistors with the ports, right? And have adjustment for the frequency response. But I don't have like uh, tapes to do it. I can just like uh, use my ears but like again like what, what what i will be playing right um i need like some test tapes or calibration tapes to do it it's it's right i can do it just flat i can flatten up like playback and record make sure that bias will perform normal way and so on after that um but this will be deck on and on right so it will play only his own tapes its own tapes and like um she will be very good deck then but <laughs> I, i'm not sure if i want to go this route let me know your thoughts uh i know there is there are few double speed decks available from different manufacturers like dual decks like i believe moran's had a double speed deck in the late 70s and uh, there is big company like they have double speed decks All right that would be it thanks for your time thanks for your attention enjoy your weekend and hope you have as much fun as i do thank you and bye bye